everywhere we can. So let's get right into our awesome things of the week. Chilla, what do you got this week? What do I have this week? Um, so my thing is it's actually an iPhone case, but uh-huh. unlike any iPhone case, this case will turn wasted radio frequency in back into power for what? your phone. So it can it can harvest the energy from radio frequencies like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE, and turn it back into DC power. Mm-hmm. Um, this giving you thirty percent longer battery life. Um, they're claiming on the on the iPhone six. Um, I'm guessing it would be probably a little less on the on the six plus. Um, this being said, I've always wondered why there haven't been cases that can reuse power to from other sources. Um, to then thus charge or or add longevity to the battery on the existing devices. I've always thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a back plate or an entire phone that was pretty much made out of some kind of solar recharger type device, but I'm guessing that they can't get enough power off of there to, to really charge back up the device. But this, that being said, this is actually taking radio frequency from around you and from the device and and converting that back like i said into electricity to charge the device um it's actually ohio state university um is one of the partners in this um and it's going to launch on kickstarter for about a hundred bucks um so the one question i had and i can't seem to find an answer to it is if your phone completely dies can it can it sip the electricity from other surrounding devices or Wi-Fi routers or whatever? So this when is you think about sitting sitting in Starbucks or something like that. This is like the phone version of the parasite from Superman. Yes, to me, <laughs> um, it, it seems very sci-fi that this is something that they can do. Uh, and it, uh, I'm I'm sure it's. I mean, when you look at this, they, that they started announcing, and then you have. Um, Elon Musk's uh, battery that he wants to put in your house. I mean, it just goes to show that. There's a lot of there's a lot of energy out there that if we harness it, that can be used for good versus just going to waste. I know there's uh, there's actually a company locally. Um, I think they might be through Project Olympus or Alpha Lab, actually called Soul Power, and they're trying to harness the power that you generate while you walk from via your shoes to to generate power. Um, yeah, I, I, I've seen devices from your shoes. I've seen devices that it's some kind of like leg brace. I've seen stuff that you can throw on a bike. Um, so, so, and someone actually at work was asking me, you know, I'd really like something for I, when I row in my um, kayak. Hmm. I wish that I could take that energy and, and put it back into some kind of rechargeable battery. So I'm sure that the, the concept is, is rather limitless. It's just how do you take that motion or whatnot and then convert that back into some kind of DC power. Could you imagine if someone could figure out a way to harness like this movement and anything with your thumb and turn it back into power? I wonder. I mean, yeah, I'm especially sure. I, it, especially if you can do it via the screen on the phone to mm-hmm. kind of how what you're talking about. How, I don't see how much power could you generate from just the tapping I do on WWE Immortals and Mortal Kombat. You know, I mean, I think it would be ridiculous. You know. So or, I, or the heat the heat that's created by your hands holding the device. Oh I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I always feel bad at the thumping on my phone, like when I'm, I'm you know, when uh, when Missy trying to go to sleep next to me, and I'm just like, <laughs> what? I'm trying to be Triple H, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I, and actually, um, I, and actually. <laughs> <laughs> Juggalo John sent us a story a while back, and I think we had some guests. I think it's when we had the doctor on, who, by the way, I ran into over the weekend. Um...